So Bruce, it's clear that there's a really exciting project here. It's got a, a real need in the community to uh, to happen, but it's a lot of money to raise. Two point uh, two point six two point six million. Don't know it is. <laughs> now one of the things you, you've decided on doing, uh, which is a, a real leap of faith, um, to, to help raise money towards <coughs> this, is the walk. Yeah. Um, and you are the roving rev on uh, Twitter um, at sense. Um, so Mike's, Mike's open for all. Open for all, thank you, and the hashtag Roving Rev. Now, what's that all about? Well, I, I did a walk actually about six years ago as part of my extended study leave. I walked to Santiago de Compostela, which is a well known uh, pilgrimage. And at the time, people said, Oh, can we sponsor you? And I said, No, because it's a spiritual thing for me and it's part of my ongoing growth in the Lord. But I said, I will be back and I will ask for money. And here I am. And the idea is to walk from here to Holy Island, Lindisfarne, which is right up in the north uh, east. And it's about 390 miles, give or take, just depending on the exact route I take. And the reason I'm going to Holy Island is that's, um, well, it's a well-known place of pilgrimage. It's the headquarters of the uh, community of Aidan and Hilda, which I and my wife Jane are members of. And we're taking our vows as voyagers. And pilgrimage isn't a part of that. When you go on pilgrimage, you leave your everyday life and have a chance to reflect. So I'll be walking. Now, some people have said, oh, it's a very long, big walk. But it's not really. It is 29 short walks, each are 15 miles or thereabouts. So anybody can walk for 15 miles for one day. You feel a bit creaky if you have to do it the second day. The third and the fourth day, I I'm expecting, will be quite difficult. By the time I get to the end of the walk, I'm expecting to feel quite fit, actually. But you're not just walking, are you? You're kind of um, doing a lot more than that. You're going to have your uh, phone with you and you're going to be um, tweeting, taking photographs, doing uh, video interviews with people along the way and, uh, and audio booze. It's kind of quite a feat. You're, you're a bit like a juggler here. You're going to be walking and, uh, and, and doing social media at the same time. Uh, well, can you tell me a little bit more about why you decided to do that? Well, I wanted to share the experience. and I think there's quite a few people who secretly would love to do the walk, but probably can't for all sorts of reasons, like they have real daytime jobs. So uh, they can at least keep track of where I'm about. You can follow my uh, location on the uh, on the website, St. Michael's Open for All, and so you'll be able to see which town or village I'm passing through. So it's St. Michael's Open for All .org .uk. That's the one. But if you, I'm sure if you just Google St. Michael's Open for All, you'll find us somewhere. Um, and if you're watching this, you probably already have. So there we go. And um, yeah, I will try and do interviews as I go with folk, but um, each day's walk will be about five hours or so. So if I set off after morning prayer, set off about eight o'clock, nine o'clock, by the middle of the afternoon, I'll have a couple of hours or perhaps a bit longer to write journals, blogs, and upload this stuff. It'll be quite interesting to see how we get on, really. I still quite can't work out the difference between a hashtag and an at sign, but there we go. Did you know that in America, hashtags are called pounds, pound signs? I didn't know that. Uh, Kim, a lady called Kim told me that yesterday. Now, you are doing something, again, that's quite special because you're link. Yeah, this walk's all about linking up, isn't it? You're actually staying um, at each leg of the journey with um, a member of another church. Yep. I started off with members of the community of Aidan and Hilda. I went through the address book and saw who lived on the end of the walk, and I rang or emailed them and said, would you like to put me up? And that's worked quite well. And then I've been checking up um, through Google and through Crockford's, which is the, church, the clerical register, and ringing people up out of the blue and saying, this is a bit cheeky, you don't know me, I'm a vicar, vicar from Camberley, I'm doing this walk, could you put me up? Or if you can't put me up, can you put it in your Pews News or whatever? And people have been very generous and have had all sorts of offers. At the time of we're filming this, there's only one night when I haven't got a clue yet where I'll be staying. Um, uh, and that's the penultimate night of the walk, funnily enough. And I'm so far north from there, there doesn't seem to be anybody but sheep as far as I can see. Are you staying at, um, any, anywhere sort of uh, notable uh, along the way? Because I know you, you've got a church conference that you're hooking up with for a couple of days. One of the things which is happening is, yes, all the clergy in, in Guildford have their conference every three years. We go to the Hayes Conference Centre in Swanwick. So I'm leaving here on the 10th of June and I have to be in Swanwick by just after lunch on the 20th of June. So that gives me 10 days to walk from here. Uh, Swanwick is about eight miles north of Derby. So you've got to keep going here. You, there's no uh, slacking off. Slack? <laughs> <laughs> you 
Now, this is um, a lot of money that has to be raised. So um, if people would like to sponsor you uh, along the way and uh, give some money to this project, how can they do that? Well, the, the easiest way, obviously, from our point of view, is to visit our My Donate site and click on there and gift aid it if you can. And that would be so welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, we can also supply paper uh, sponsorship forms, ladder forms, if you like, if you get in touch with the church office. And people can find a link to um, to the My Donate site off the um, St Mike's Open for All UK website. Can't it's there they? on the front page, immediately above my uh, location marker thing, top left hand side. Your tracker. Oh, is that what it's? Yeah, it's called a tracker. Yeah.